Good afternoon, Deepak. Uh, welcome to Harassus. Uh, I remember our last conversation here at the last Arab Beat, and uh, I also remember a nice conversation about the, the agenda and the issues. Uh, if I had to ask you a quick question, what, has, what changes have you seen in the past one year uh, from a perspective of this region's economic bridges with the rest of the world? One year has gone by. It's a nice time to reflect and see what, the measurements. What do you think of that? Let me put it down. I see a couple of things. <clears throat> one is that if I was to draw up a triangle, mm -hmm. um, and one quadrant is, let's say, GCC mm -hmm. and MENA, mm -hmm. and the second quadrant I'd like to place Africa, and the third quadrant I'd like to place East Asia. Mm -hmm. and what's happening is, uh, as a banker, mm -hmm. let's say, I'd like to look at GCC as a institution, which is a financial institution, and mm -hmm. it's exporting uh, capital. So it's got surplus capital. Of course, it's utilizing capital for its own infrastructure development and yeah. energy development. Sure. But yet it has surplus capital. Mm -hmm. Why I say that is in the short term, if yeah. it was to deploy this capital, let us take, in the case of Africa, mm -hmm. two things could happen. Mm -hmm. One is that it will help it, it will assist it to create food security. In the African continent. In the African continent. Okay. These are with the GCC and okay. the MENA. Uh -huh. Um, that doesn't take it away in terms of investments, as I said, within, in terms of Egypt, etc. The second thing is Africa is growing, mm -hmm. so it will bring about tourism to this area. Absolutely. So that is, uh, and which will create wealth, if it is true, uh, within this region. The second thing as far as uh, East Asia goes, um, I'm already seeing things which are happening, like take Adia. It has invested into one of the largest infrastructure players in India. Mm -hmm. It's taken a 13% stake in that. Uh, they're investing in construction companies. This, these companies will be utilized in terms of uh, services to offer in terms of the infrastructure growth here, the, uh, in healthcare, etc. But what I see that's important is that in the next 10 years, a little lesser than that, the Indian and Chinese economies will be generating almost ten trillion dollars a year in terms of consumer pull. Now, no, that's a that's a great number. Yeah. That's a great so number. They, uh, which is effectively a couple of things: a billion people will become middle class in both these uh, countries. Uh, 135 million will be the graduates out of both these countries. Uh, whereas in the United States, you'll have within the same period 30 million graduates. There's going to be a $17 trillion spend in the next 20 years in China on infrastructure, a $10 trillion spend in India in the next 20 years. So the way I see it is that the globe is becoming smaller. And I've seen very smart investments by this region in terms of its sovereign funds and the high net worth individuals. Uh, however, that doesn't take me away if I might come back to the angle on top is GCC and MENA within its own areas also. Saudi is spending $150 billion in the next few years on housing. Uh, the 70s, 80 infrastructure there is going to be revamped and recreated. So all this means trade, it means commerce, it means energy being happening. No, I, I, I think you've got a very nice side. Two things that you said stand out very clearly. Uh, I know the, the parlance in the Western world is about where is the smart money going? And you just defined it pretty well in terms of numbers. Hard, hard numbers that are going to come out of this area. And I like the way you have uh, put the matrix form and subdivided the markets into more matured, East Asia, MENA, Africa. So I think we're going to be looking at some traction and I think you, you, you're well poised, your enterprise, in, in being part of this and fueling this growth. And uh, I look forward to your meeting again at the Horasis Meet next year very soon, Absolutely. Deepak. It's always a pleasure to see you and uh, have a safe trip back home. Likewise, a great pleasure to meet you. Thanks. Thank Thanks a lot.